Hey everybody, I really don't like making videos like this, but in this case I feel like I really need to. Um, Plex is killing support for the traditional home theater PC, and that's not an exaggeration, that is what's happening in their own words. So they're, they've unveiled a new app just called Plex, which is fine, I'm fine with that. But they're removing the TV interface um, from it entirely and it's across all operating systems as far as I can tell Mac and uh, Windows and um, I guess they don't have a Linux app but uh, so they're killing support for Plex Media Player which is what I use exclusively with my home theater PC and I use it with the TV mode um, interface like it's the Uno interface just like you would see on an Apple TV 4k which I actually have two of by the way I really like them they work great but on my big TV on my setup I really like my home theater PC it can do things that the Apple TV 4k, 4K can't and I think that the playback experience with Plex is much better with the home theater PC than it is excuse me on the Apple TV 4k although it's not bad the Apple TV 4K is pretty good. Um, I just I like sitting here with a either a remote or I can use a Xbox controller to control the interface on uh, Plex Media Player, um, or I can use my wireless keyboard, or I can use my mouse, or I can use kind of whatever I want. That's the that's the thing. It's very very flexible, um, so I like that and. I also like that, well, at least in my particular case, um, it can use a different sound device than the desktop can. So, like, I have my home theater P or my uh, my AVR plugged into my home theater PC through HDMI, sends all the 5.1 Atmos and everything through HDMI to the AVR, and then I also have another source that goes out to a two-channel setup. Um, where I have these, uh, let's see, gigantic Studio 590s, which I use for two channel exclusively. So I can go from playing music or watching YouTube video and, every, and something like that in two channel, open up the Plex Media Player app without switching sources, and have Plex Media Player play through HDMI, through the AVR, uh, and not have any interruptions on screen or anything like that. I don't need to mess with anything with a remote. I don't need to switch sources or anything like that. It just works. Um, so I really, really like that. The other thing is you might notice that I have a blue light on either side of my TV. That is, uh, well, those are Philips Hue Play lights. And I don't really know what Plex expects me to do with the Apple TV 4K because I can't use those with the Apple TV 4K. And that's because I use the Hue Sync app on my desktop and uh, there's there's no way to get the Hue Sync working on Apple TV 4K as far as as far as I know. Maybe it works on the Shield, but for the most part like my home devices are all Apple devices, so I don't really want to have a shield just so I can get these lights to work which were I mean they're pretty expensive I think they're like $150 a kit and I have two kits because I have a big TV um, so let me mute this so I don't get any copyright um, so that's just me smacking my spacebar so I can play it but you can see that the lights dynamically change with what's on TV and it's a little bit bright in this room so you might be able to see, might not be able to see it as well but yeah, it's just kind of annoying. Um, I'm not really sure why they've done this, but they, they've said it's going to make it easier for them, I guess. But the the thing is that the Uno interface already exists. It, they're still using that on the Apple TV, on uh, like the smart TV apps, on the NVIDIA Shield. So why wouldn't they continue to keep that in the desktop app? Uh, the new desktop app, <laughs> that's people messaging me about this because I I put a call out on, on Discord saying you should really leave a comment uh, on their little article about this. And I'm going to encourage you guys to do that too because 
Um, there's no there's no need to be angry with them or be vulgar or anything like that, but they really need to know that this is a bad move, um, especially for power users. Like I I consider myself a power user. Uh, it's it really hurts my view of them and where they're headed in the future. Um, so just consider leaving a comment and saying, you know, hey, this is a really bad idea. Maybe you're not using it now, but, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe you'll use it in the future. I don't mind that they're moving to a different app and, and they're calling it just Plex now. That's, that's totally fine. Just don't kill the TV interface because it's, it's really, really nice. I know I cut myself off there right in the middle. I don't remember what I was saying exactly, but, um, yeah, it's just kind of frustrating. And, you know, I, I really, really enjoy my home theater PC experience. I've been using it like this for a little while now. I mean, this thing's still going on. See the lights changing and stuff. I mean, it's just great. You know, I've got it set up the way I like it, and I bet a lot of other people do too. Uh, for most people, especially high-end, home theater PCs are the way to go. You can do everything on them. Uh, and, and Plex killing support for that just to have a, a desktop app with a desktop interface. I mean, Let's look at it here. So let me quit this movie. Just give me a second. Here's what the uh, the web or the excuse me the TV interface looks like through Plex Media Player. Now, if I switch it over to, I'm not even sure how to switch it. Yeah, I mean, it, it even just defaults to the TV interface on my uh, on my setup, so I'm not really sure how to change it. Let's see if I can force it to change here. Bear with me a second. Now it doesn't even look like I can force it to uh, to change. I mean, basically the new app just kind of looks like Plex Web, and especially on larger TVs like this 75 inch or say even 65, 55, it's going to be a lot of really really small text, and it doesn't support native scaling for Windows. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Um, I guess just leave comments on their uh, on their blog post thing, and then uh, check out the Plex Reddit thread um, and see if you can leave some comments there. But I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, I guess we'll just keep using Plex Media Player until they stop supporting it. Hopefully, we can keep it without support and just keep using it. But uh, maybe you know, maybe it's time to switch to OpenPHT or something like that. But I really like their interface, so hopefully this isn't the end of uh, the TV interface as we know it from theater PCs, but it's not a good sign. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.